Okay, so I was recently asked to do a video on how to root your device, so here it is. What you want to do first is set your device into USB debugging mode, which you go to by clicking settings, oh, settings, applications, development, and select USB debugging and click OK with the message that pops up. And you also want to make sure that your SD card is unmounted and removed. So click on SD card and device storage and un unmount SD card. And then want to make sure you have all the drivers. So uh, I downloaded keys, you probably don't need to. And you then just plug in your device. I'll show you how to do it from there. Okay. You will probably get a notification at the bottom of your screen saying that you're having drivers downloaded and whatnot. Mine have already downloaded and everything, so I shall show you how to do this. Okay. Go on XDA Developers and just search Super One Click or Google it, and you'll get to this page right here and I use version 2.2.2 .2. actually uh, yeah I think that's what I used and you just scroll down to the bottom of that page where the downloads are and it should say super one click v 2.2 .2. and you click that start the download and once you do that you unzip the file right click extract all put it to where you want it by pushing browse and I'll extract it okay and you want to click on the one that looks like this so you're going to right click and then run it as an administrator click it and there you go and then make sure it's on auto and you don't have to click anything and just click root Mine's already rooted, so I'm not going to show you. But while I was rooting it, the program was unresponsive like four times, but just wait, don't freak out. It takes about a minute and a half, maybe less. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And then once you do that, you're rooted. And it's going to ask you a question saying, do you want to do this and that? Just say yes, so you get super user, um, the app, the super user app. So you can tell certain apps what to do and what not to do if you want them to be able to run on there or not. I'll give you an example of what it looks like here in a second. Okay. See, I want to use CPU Tuner. Click on it. I'm going to say, I'm going to change a setting. Just a random one. And a little thing right there popped up. It says CPU Tuner has been granted super user permissions. When you first use that program or app, it's going to ask you if you want to allow that to work since it's root, it needs to be rooted to use that app. You just say OK and it remembers that setting. And there's a log in SuperUser to tell you every time it used it. So that's pretty much all it does. And once you do that, you're just rooted and simple. One of the easiest things you can do for this device. Oh, hope that helps for you, and if you need any more information, just search XDA forums. There's going to be like plenty out there for you. And there's probably better videos, shows you everything else, but just make sure you have the drivers downloaded and the SD card is unmounted. You don't want that mounted or anything, so just pretty much take it out so you know for sure it's not going to mount itself. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you.